Growing up, I had no faith in God or His existence. I believed if I was a good person, then I would receive good in, the, in this life and it would be good to me. I thought that a better job, more money, purchasing nice things would bring, bring me fulfillment. Deep down, I thought this momentary pursuit would bring me lasting happiness. However, all it did was lead me on a constant pursuit of temporal surface happiness that brought an emptiness that could not fill me joy. I have a stroke in May 2022. My husband found me unconscious. Uh, I was rushed by ambulance to the helicopter. There was a moment I was alone in the hospital and I could not speak to, during a stroke. I, I was scared that I would never speak, speak, walk, or be my normal self again. I was scared I would be a burden to my wonderful husband and our, and our children. I prided myself on being strong, independent, capable woman, and now I was unable to do anything by myself. There was a moment alone in the hospital that my heart quietly began to search for if there was a God. For the first nine months, various friends and enemy and family, through acts of kindness, uh, help our family to lift some of the burdens that it took for for my care and, and daily activities. In January 2022, my husband and I hired a PSW come along alongside me with the full-time care. I do not know the time she was a Christ follower. As, as the months followed, I noticed she had joy and a fulfillment in her life. She cared deeply for our family and worked hard to help us any way she could. I asked her, her one day, why are you so happy? Michelle told me slowly over the next few days her story and how Jesus made a difference in her life. The stroke was such a dramatic event in my life and my family that it shifted my heart focus on Jesus for the first time in my life. It also made me realize that all the world offers and fulfillment to make a person happy or feel does no good when life is hard. I kept asking my PSW questions more each day. I explained that if I could put my faith in Jesus, forgive my, forgive my sins, I, He would fill me with joy that this world could never satisfy. She said it was a prayer for my heart and putting faith in Christ alone for salvation. She then took my dog Rocky for a walk and I prayed and asked Jesus to forgive my sins and fill up my, my life with his love and joy. And he did. A life first is Isaiah 43, chapter 1 to 3. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by my name, you are mine. When you pass through the water, I will with, with you. And when you pass through the river, I will not overwhelm you. When he walked through the fire, he will not be burned. The flames will not destroy you. I am the Lord your God.
beautiful story. I am trying not to cry. <laughs> so Aileen, I have some questions for you after hearing your story. It is, is it your profession that Jesus Christ is Lord of your life? Yes. And is it your desire to walk all the days of your life in obedience to him? Yes. Then based on your profession of faith in Jesus Christ, it is my great privilege and honor to baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>